Good evening. A fam New Mexico family thought it was the flu, but it turned out to be much worse, the West Nile virus. It is impossible to know exactly where it happened, but the family says it was definitely in our state. News 13's Brittany Bade visited with the family today. Pete and Jess, on Friday, Ona Bernal left on a family vacation, and by Monday evening, he was in a medically induced coma. Now, months later, Bernal is still in the hospital fighting the West Nile virus. It's not a love lost. My wedding dress. But it is a love forever changed. I told him, when you get better, we got to go fishing. And he looked at me, he started crying. Days on the river, time with his family are what Ona Bernal loves. Almost all my life has been spent with him outside and doing the things we love. But that's all far from the life he is living now. Someone so wonderful and so good and did put his whole life out for you. Has to be trapped like this. Mendy Bernal and her husband Ona left their Belen home in August, heading to urgent care to treat what they thought was the flu, but he hasn't been home since. It took a long time to find out what he actually had. The official West Nile virus diagnosis came when Ona had already been put in a medically induced coma. He will not make a full recovery. He is awake now, but he's lost almost 50 pounds, cannot speak, and is completely paralyzed. Ona is a very strong man, very active. He was worked out every day. He was eating sardines every day. He prided himself in being able to keep up with Chase. So it was a real shock. Doctors believe the once always active and happy Ona will need a wheelchair and a ventilator to breathe for the rest of his life. Who would know? You know, a little mosquito could do such damage to so many people's lives. Though then, 21 years and now are different. I want to be able to go fishing with him one last time. The Bernal family is thankful they haven't lost the man they all love so much. I didn't know it until my dad wasn't able to talk to me, but I realized that he was my best friend I ever had. And he was my best friend. Bernal's long-term care will depend on his progress within the next few months, but whatever it is, it will be expensive. There is a GoFundMe set up for the family, and we have a link to donate at always on KRQE.com. Dean. All right, Brittany, thank you. The health department says the best way to protect yourself from, from West Nile is to avoid mosquito bites. There have been 39 cases in the state this year. Four of them have been fatal. In 2018, there were only seven cases.